गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर ट्वेंटी सेकेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ फेब्रुवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ये आई वॉज अनेबल टू टेक द क्लासेस बिकॉज ऑफ सम टेक्निकल क्लिंच बट नथिंग टू वरी अबाउट वट एवर वी हैव मिस्ड वुड बी कवर्ड नाउ एंड टूडे विल हैव मोर नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन फाइन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद आवर सेशन The first question is, Mail Ghat Tiger Reserve, recently seen in the news, is located in which Indian state? So this tiger reserve lies in the state of Maharashtra, and why it came into news? Because the Kula Mama Volleyball Tournament for 2024 would be conducted at this tiger reserve's Sima Do, and it would promote tiger and forest conservation with local youth engagement right so melghat tiger reserve was established in the year 1967 and then it was declared as a tiger reserve in 1974 don't forget that this is the very first tiger reserve of maharashtra state right talking about its location it lies in the amravati district of maharashtra it is characterized by tropical dry deciduous forest and major rivers also it plays a crucial role in protecting the wildlife and this tournament underscores the significance of preserving this pristine landscape and its inhabitant fine so since melaghat tiger reserve came into news you have to remember its location it lies in the state of maharashtra next is recently nasa and which country's space agency have joined to launch the world's first wooden satellite so nasa and the japan's space agency that is jaxa are planning to launch the world's first wooden satellite the name of which is ligno sat it will be launched in 2024 basically this satellite is designed to reduce the space debris and it is made of the biodegradable magnolia wood it is also known as hunoki in japanese this satellite is being developed by the scientist at the kyoto university and the first test have been performed in the space simulating laboratories and the wood samples found no signs of damage till now okay also it have no signs of decomposition or mass changes and this initiative aims to make space flight operations more sustainable and it would have the way for a more sustainable future in orbit right so nasa means usa and japan are planning to launch the world's first wooden satellite also you can be asked that what is the name of the world's first wooden satellite it is ligno sat okay now here talking about japan there is a festival in japan that is in news these days it is somin sai festival okay it is deeply ingrained in japanese culture and recently it marked its millennium long legacy's final celebration so this ancient tradition which occurs on the 7th day of lunar new year showcased fervent new wrestling matches among the hundreds of men over wooden talisman so this festival is a captivating spectacle of tradition and spirituality and now it has left an indelible mark on japan's cultural landscape right so you can be asked that sobin sai festival recently seen in the news is associated with which country your answer would be japan next is where was the first child friendly police station has been inaugurated so a child friendly police station has been launched in dhule district of maharashtra at azad nagar police station okay conceived by district collector abhinav goel and women and child development officer rajendra birari this initiative aims to create a safe and enjoyable space for the children also one of the room is adorned with child friendly pictures and district sp shrikant dhiware praised this effort Uh, where he stressed the collective responsibility of the juvenile justice system to ensure the children's safety and well-being also he has requested for some child friendly practices so as to have a fear free environment for our children okay so the first child friendly police station has been inaugurated in maharashtra state also don't forget that recently the us house of representatives has bolstered the quad bill 
so as to enhance the cooperation what is quad bill basically it is known as the quadrilateral security dialogue bypassing the legislation to strengthen the ties among the member nations who are the member countries under quad us australia india and japan right so this bill basically mandates the creation of an intra parliamentary working group for regular discussions among the lawmakers so as to foster the political exchanges also it instructs the biden administration to submit a report for enhanced governmental coordination within 180 days so there is a urgent need to have a talk with partner countries within 60 days to establish a parliamentary group right you can be asked that presently which country's parliament has passed the quad bill so as to enhance the cooperation among the member nations so here correct answer would be united state your answer could be all the member countries like options are us australia india and japan but correct answer would be usa what is the primary role of the chinook ch47f helicopter recently seen in the news actually indian air force chinook helicopter made a precautionary landing in punjab due to a technical snag and chinook is manufactured by boeing as we know it is a tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter used for troop and supply transport also india operates 15 chinooks currently which features advanced cargo handling and a fully integrated digital cockpit and it has a triple hook system as well so with a maximum speed of 160 knots it can carry 55 troops or 10 tons of cargo showcasing its versatility in military cooperation right so what is the primary role of chinook here answer is heavy troop and supply transport that is d option right now apart from it recently the chief minister of assam has announced a mission to reclaim the cats which is our riverine islands in the brahmaputra river so as to preserve the ecological integrity and it faces constant migration with erosion upstream and deposition downstream during floods which impacts their geometry and the areas around it encounter challenges like poor communication mobility and infrastructure hindering development as well so issues include isolation flood threats and some difficulties in implementing the schemes for the roads irrigation power and education in these unique flood prone region right so you can be asked that the chats or so known as cats recently mentioned in the news are the riverine areas associated with which river your options could be brahmaputra river ganga river yamuna river narmada river answer would be brahmaputra river fine next is nagi bird festival recently seen in the news is associated with which indian state so the nagi bird festival is associated with the state of bihar and the bihar government's forest and environmental department hosts the 3 day festival in jamui which is the one of the district and the festival's primary objective is to educate the people on migratory birds and their habitats and to promote the bird conservation right so nagi bird festival that is seen in the news these days is associated with bihar fine next is what is anuvadini recently mentioned in the news So Anuvadini is an artificial intelligence driven multilingual translation application designed in house which en enables the rapid conversion of english content into various languages via machine learning it is supplemented by expert review as well fine so in the last 2 years it has translated numerous textbooks for ecomb which is an online platform ecomb and this initiative also offers 12 regional language choices for national entrance exam which showcases substantial progress in the realm of this ai based language translation right so anuvadini is what so it is a kind of artificial intelligence tool fine next is recently which country conducted a direct ascent anti satellite that is da a sat test by destroying an old satellite zelena d sigint satellite so recently russia conducted a direct ascent anti satellite test destroying this particular satellite and the us criticized the test due to the significant debris it generated in the low earth orbit which poses a threat to the international space station so russia has possessed asat capabilities since 1968 
and anti satellite weapons are designed to disable operational satellites and uh, currently china in russia and the us have already demonstrated the successful asat capabilities fine so here correct answer would be b option that is russia next is pm vishwakarma yojana recently seen in the news is launched by which particular ministry so this yojana is associated with ministry of micro small and medium enterprises basically it offers artisans and the craftsmen affordable loans skill training modern equipment and it promotes digital transaction so with a budget of 13000 crore rupees the scheme covers in total 18 businesses and is set to run for 5 years until the financial year 2027 to 28 basic aim is to boost the growth and development of the micro small and medium enterprise sector fine so pm vishwakarma yojana is associated with ministry of msme now don't forget that tamil nadu has recently banned the sale and production of cotton candy due to the presence of rhodamine b which is a chemical that is used in various industries for dyeing and coloring right despite appearing green in powdered format it turns pink when added to water and it is used in incense and matchsticks as well it is highly toxic and carcinogenic even in small quantities so the food safety and standards authority of india has prohibited its usage in the food products as well fine you can be asked that why tamil nadu has banned the sale and production of cotton candies the reason is the presence of rhodamine b which is toxic and carcinogenic chemical used in various industries for dyeing and coloring okay next is recently which country's women's team clinched the gold medal in the badminton asia team championship here answer is b option india india's women's badminton team won their first ever gold medal at the badminton asia team championships that took place in malaysia so the team defeated the country thailand in the final match fine so here two things are important first of all which country's women's team has won this gold medal in the badminton asian team championship answer is india and which country was the runner up answer would be thailand and the third point is which place or which country was the venue for this championship answer is malaysia okay next is which bank of india recently collaborated with aims to launch the smart payment card for cashless transactions so union health minister dr mansukh mandavia launched the aims sbi smart payment card for aims and the card aims to facilitate hazel free payments for the patients which would eliminate the need for carrying cash so it would provide free of cost uh, with no service charges and this card is linked to the patient's unique hospital identification number and ayushman bharat health account id this initiative is known as one aims one card initiative and it plans to extend these services to all aims institutions nationwide fine so sbi recently collaborated with aims to launch the smart payment card for cashless transactions so as to facilitate the patients fine now there is another initiative named as arogya doctors on wheels this initiative has been introduced in jammu and kashmir featuring an artificial intelligence driven teleclinic to offer health care in the remote areas and patients can describe their ailments in their native language and the ai doctor comprehends and responds in the same language and this free telemedicine service addresses the challenges of accessibility availability and affordability so right so it would bring the healthcare solutions to under served regions you can be asked at arogya doctors on wheels that was recently seen in the news is an initiative of which state or the union territory answer would be jammu and kashmir next is what is the name of the indian coast guard ship that made a port call at maputo port in mozambique so indian coast guards offshore petrol vessel icgs vara made a port call at maputo port in mozambique and this visit is part of a strategic overseas deployment to east africa and it is a milestone in diplomatic maritime engagements so this visit last 3 days and it includes professional interaction in the fields of like marine pollution response and maritime law enforcement maritime search and rescue etc 
Also, this visit includes engagements with the Mozambican Navy as a part of Punit Sagar Abhiyan. Fine. So, Indian Coast Guard ship Vara made a port call at Mabudo Port in Mozambique. Fine. Next is recently who has been elected as the new president of the International Court of Justice? Extremely important question. Here, answer is A option Nawaf Salam. So, Nawaf Salam is the first Lebanese and second Arab who had succeeded US Judge Joan Donoghue as the President of the International Court of Justice in The Hague and he serves as a three-year term starting in 2024 and he began his ICAJ journey in the year 2018 where he showcased a distinguished career in international law. Also as the highest global judicial authority, ICJ resolves legal disputes between states and it offers advisory opinions on United Nations related legal matters playing a crucial role in international relations, right? So Nawab Salam has been elected as the new president for International Court of Justice. Next is Ponmudi Hills recently seen in the news is located in which Indian state? Here answer is A option Kerala. So researchers have identified a new damselfly species in Kerala's Ponmudi Hills. And talking about Ponmudi Hills, they lie in the Western Ghats. It lies at an altitude of 1100 meters. This discovery is significant because the genus Phyloneura was considered monotypic for last 160 years. Fine. So simply you have to remember that Ponmudi Hills lies in the state of Kerala. Okay. Also, our external affairs minister, Dr. S. Jashankar, has attended the 60th Munich Security Conference in Germany where he engaged in discussions with the global leaders to address bilateral cooperation and global concern. So this three-day conference serves as a platform for high-level debates on pressing security challenges and to foster international dialogue and cooperation. Fine. You can be asked that where was the 60th Munich Security Conference held? Answer would be Germany. Okay. Next question is Recently, which state has secured 740 crore rupees under the Pradhan Mantri Uchitar Shiksha Abhiyan, that is PM Usha scheme? So, Uttar Pradesh secures 740 crore rupees, which is the highest in India, under this PM Usha scheme, which is a revamped version of Rashtriya Uchitar Shiksha Abhiyan, that is ROSA. So, this is a centrally sponsored scheme which works under Ministry of Education. Basic aim is to enhance the quality of state higher educational institutions in line with the National Education Policy 2020. So PM Usha emphasizes conformity to prescribed norms, standards and accreditation for quality assurance in higher education. Right? So UP has secured 740 crore rupees under the PM Usha scheme. Also recently, European Union has initiated mission aspites why? to safeguard commercial vessels in the Red Sea from the potential attacks by Iran-backed Houthi rebels. So this naval mission involves deploying some warships and airborne early warning systems in the Red Sea, Gulf of Aden and surrounding waters. So participating countries include, for example, France, Germany, Italy and Belgium. And uh, aspired vessels would be operated under some strict rules of engagement and they are stationed in Larissa, Greece and they are authorized to fire only in response to Houthi attacks. Fine. So this mission was initially planned for a year and uh, it is subject to renewal. You can be asked that what is the purpose of European Union's recently launched mission aspites in the Red Sea. So basic purpose is to protect the commercial vessels from the attacks by Iran backed Houthi rebels. Fine. Next is which country hosted the third meeting of Asian India trade in the goods agreement? So Asian India Trade in Goods Agreement Joint Committee met in New Delhi from 16th to 19th of February, marking its third meeting since the agreement was signed in 2009. It was initiated in September 2022 for a comprehensive review. Eight subcommittees were established to enhance the agreement's trade facilitation and mutual benefits and the recent meeting examined negotiation progress and identified some focus areas for further deliberation and updated the work program directing the subcommittees for continued negotiation fine so here correct answer is india 
India has hosted third meeting of Asia and India Trade in Goods Agreement. Next is Mukhya Mantri Harit Vikas Chhatravriti Yojana, recently seen in the news, is launched by which Indian state? Here answer is D option that is Himachal Pradesh and the state budget of Himachal Pradesh for 2024 to 25 prioritizes environmental concerns where they unveil the Mukhya Mantri Harit Vikas Chhatravriti Yojana for postgraduate researchers. And who is the current Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh? Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu and uh, he emphasized some climate change threats and outlined action plans at district and panchayat levels and the A-State aims to collaborate with the Union Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change and the German Development Agency that is GIZ to address the climate change impact on agriculture and horticulture. That's why they would conduct a need assessment study for effective uh, mitigation. Fine. So here correct answer is Himachal Pradesh. Next is which country recently hosted the Ukraine Reconstruction Conference? Here correct answer is Japan, that is C option. Japan recently hosted a conference to discuss the reconstruction of Ukraine. And who is the current Prime Minister of Japan? Mr. Fumio Kishida. He committed to long-term engagement in Ukraine's reconstruction, framing it as a future investment. And uh, in a conference that was co-organized with Ukraine, Kishida emphasized Japan's commitment to inclusive, humanitarian and technologically driven cooperation. Over 50 deals were signed between Japan and Ukrainian entities, which highlights their collaborative efforts in supporting the war-torn nation two years after Russia's invasion. Fine. So Japan recently hosted the Ukraine Reconstruction Conference. These days, two asteroids are in use, the name of which are Iris and Messalia. You can be asked that what are these things? that were recently mentioned in the news. Options could be asteroids, black holes, glacial lakes, petrol vessel, but your answer would be asteroid, fine. Actually, these are the asteroids that have similar orbits and uh, they are potentially the first asteroids in our solar system to have confirmed the water, fine. That's why they are important. Recently, this organization released a report titled as Asia and the Pacific SDG Progress Report 2024. So this is the report from UNESCAP and it reveals that the region is 32 years behind the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals target. It was established in 1947 as ECAFE and then it became ESCAP in the year 1974 and it is one of the United Nations five regional commission, right? It has 53 member states including India and nine associate members and the headquarters lies in Bangkok in Thailand. Basic objective is to foster the cooperation among the members to address sustainable development challenges. Fine. Here correct answer is Eunice Cap. Next is Vaitarna River recently seen in the news originates from which one of the following? Actually a recent bull shark attack on a fisherman in Maharashtra's Vaitarna River marked the first sighting of this aggressive species 40 kilometers upstream. Okay. And Vaitarna is a west flowing river that originates in Trimbakeshwar hills and drains in Thane and Nasik district. Okay. So bull sharks which are known for their aggressiveness can tolerate the fresh water and salt water only and uh, they ventured into rivers. This species has a status of vulnerable in the IUCN red list. Fine. Now apart from it, recently archaeologists have uncovered Moro Dharo which is a Harappan era fortified settlement in the Kutch district of Gujarat which dates back from 2600 to 1300 BCE and this settlement spans the mature to late Harappan period. So it very much resembles from the Dhola Vira and uh, this discovery sheds some light on the ancient civilization, right? You can be asked that archaeologists recently discovered a Harappan era fortified settlement named as Murudharo in which Indian state your answer would be Gujarat, fine. So these are the most important current affairs and the news from today. And now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide, you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two, three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. 
these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this menu hatsana signing off